Hey y'all, I'm Shayna and I'm back with another review. This is for Love and Marriage Huntsville, Season 6, Episode 3. Finally, I got something out on time <laughs> because I know I am delayed if you are one of my subscribers. I told y'all this weekend, I'm going to come and give y'all what I need to give y'all, okay? So be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not already because I'm trying to grow and you don't want to miss out on any of these videos if you enjoy this type of content. Also, don't hesitate to check out my other videos if you are new to the channel. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Uh, we pick up where we left off with Kiki and Tisha hashing it out. Carlos, we need a year maybe a year and a half off after this season because why are we watching the same thing again? How many times are we going to watch the same conversation? Like, seriously, <laughs> at this point, uh, are you playing in our face? Um, they agree to never have this conversation again. And for my sanity, I hope they don't. Please don't have this conversation ever. Again. Not on camera, not off camera. I don't want to hear about this ever again we don't care anymore we've lost interest tisha invites um her cousin to her girls night that we know uh the producers probably put together but that's neither here nor there so we meet with marcel and maurice's father for the first time uh, i think i believe that's the first time i know a few seasons back i think we saw their mother or in we saw their other brother this is my first time i recall seeing their father so the father is giving him advice as they're smoking cigars and black before it opens. And he's saying, you know, he said, stop making a living and make a life. In other words, he's saying, he, you know, you missing out on time with your family trying to work, work, work and chase behind a dollar. But what's the point of having, you know, all that money that you worked hard for and you look up and your kids is grown and your wife got gray hairs and all that. He said that he missed out on family time and his dad missed out on family time. And he don't want his sons to do the same thing. That's great advice and everything. The problem is Marcel don't want to spend time with Tisha because he don't really seem to like her much in general. <laughs> and as if you ask me, that's just my opinion. I just don't think he likes her and he don't want to be around her. That's what it seems like. Pop said, look, even the Lord took a day to rest, but you too good to take a day off. And it's like, you yeah, like I'm work, 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 working, but Tisha the one behind the scene. But anyway... So Kimmy meets with Letitia at the coffee shop, a random coffee shop that was like so quiet you could hear a pin drop. I don't know why they were filming there. Might want to go to Starbucks where there's a little background noise. Maybe they said keep it, let's keep it quiet, keep it cute and on mute so we can hear what y'all saying. Um, you know, the mics might be picking up all that noise in the back. <laughs> so she said she had to find somewhere else to work because Marcel hired someone without telling her, which we already knew, and he took over her desk. You know, didn't give her no heads up. I wish I would be looking for somewhere else to work because you hire somebody without even telling me and they taking my spot. Like, he, she said it was to the point that the man was hanging up his degree and she said Marcel was like, look, you can't even hang up your degree. So I can't hang up my hard-earned degree. And I believe Tisha has degrees. I thought she had more than one. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but he can come in, whoever he is. You didn't talk to her and she has 85% share and... <sighs> mm -mm. Now she working at the coffee shop trying to find places to go to work. This it, cause He don't want her to work. You want her to sign a dotted line because you need her, but you don't want her involved. And that just only makes no sense. That man will never respect her, ever. So they vent about these stubborn Scott men and Kimmy making it seem like, well, girl, that's what I do to keep my man in check. Uh, these brothers are one and the same. And Kimmy, I don't really think you got things on lock like you think you do. I think, you know, right now with her situation, he kind of banged his tongue a little bit. Prior to that, he was just as, as, as he was just like his brother. I'm going to say that. <laughs> so Melody calls Kimmy while they talking, while she's talking to Tisha. And Tisha was like, you know, can I talk to her? And Kimmy looking like, what? That was not a part of it. <laughs> so she talks to Mel and she like, look, I'm having a ladies night and I would love for you to come. She invites her there. Kimmy sent in her confessional like, Lord, it's too quiet to be arguing up in this silent coffee shop. Please don't do it. But they didn't. Melody was like, okay, you know, have her send me the information. So I was in that moment thinking, she probably ain't going to come. But they are filming and she needs people to film it. So who knows? <laughs> Later we see the Scots 1.0. They're having dinner with their kids. And Marcel attempts to... 
And I'm sorry if I'm sniffling. My allergies are just getting the best of me. <laughs> like right now. <laughs> but Marcel attempts to throw Tisha under the bus for not cooking for them every night. Talking about she working. Don't y'all miss y'all mom cooking for you every night? Well, she can't do that because she's, she's working. Them kids flipped it back on him so fast. It was like, what about you, dad? What, and one thing about them tables, they turn. That's what the children said. Why can't you cook? You pick up the plate in a desk. But he couldn't even remember his his son was allergic to eggs or peanut butter or whatever he was allergic to. So maybe it's best that he leave the pots to Tisha. <laughs> but um, the oldest son was like, I wouldn't be letting my spouse talk to me like that, especially after 17 long years. I said, oof. He done seen that, that oldest son of theirs and seen some things. So the kids leave and Tisha asks him not to throw her under the bus. And, you know, she states like, look, you don't understand how hard it is to balance it being a wife and a mother and a woman and a working woman. And I'm trying to balance it all. Um, and he, for some reason, is acting like he's some sort of victim. Like, oh, well, you don't understand how it feels to be a man. I can't stand that. I cannot stand when somebody is like expressing like, I'm like, oh. You hurt my feelings. Like something you did, you did X, Y, Z, and that upset me. Well, you did A, B, C, and that upset me. Like, it's giving competition. Like, what are we, what? This ain't about you. Let's teach it about how she feeling in this moment. She don't get to speak up no other time. Anyway, Tisha addresses her um, poor treatment <laughs> that she's getting when it comes to their business, which is mostly her business. It's mostly her business. <laughs> But, you know, her being a respectful wife she is, she making him feel like he running the show when she really, she's the one that's keeping it alive. <laughs> she's 85% owner, yet he's sitting up there telling her, the boss, that she needs to stay in her place. If one plus one equal, because <laughs> the math ain't math, him. Okay. Um... He shouldn't, even all, besides the fact that she is like majority shareholder and she pretty much owns the business, that's his wife, first and foremost. You don't kick your wife out with no notice and have her walk around at the coffee shop and trying to find somewhere to go every day and let this strange man come in. Someone, oh, he's just so busy, he forgot. Like, it just shows that she's the last on his list at all times. So it's time for Tisha's ladies night. And she recently found out, like, during the invitation process, that Tiffany has a made-for-TV beef with Cousin Kiki. And uh, Tiffany just feels like Kiki is fake. At least that's what I was gathering. And maybe she is. Maybe she is. Maybe she's not. Maybe she is, though. <laughs> so Tiffany sitting there while the lady's there. She make a slick comment about puppets like she put a sock or something in her hands so i'm like oh something about what what if this was a puppet or something that like wasn't funny it was uncalled for i guess they needed some kind of moment for the night and teacher like she ready to kick her up out of there pregnant at all she ready to kick her out because you already starting mess we two seconds in uh, i don't know i just because <laughs> they at the massage place but i ain't hear nothing about no like them getting real massages like it's false advertisement this is a spa day we ain't really getting a full spa treatment they doing like a sound bath in one room they splitting a the group in half so half of the group gonna do the sound bath the other half gonna sit in massage chairs i hope i don't feel like them nail salon massage chairs them things will they will beat down your back okay them things hurt <laughs> I, oof, i'll be turning them things off sometimes depending on where i'm at because it's i need massages from real hands not machines but Mel actually arrives, and Tiffany being real messy when they did in the sound bath, talking to her about Kiki, <laughs> Stormy cracked me up. Because she was in her confessional, she like, Mel talking about something. She could have just said, like, I don't want to talk about that girl. I don't want I don't, I don't want to discuss it. But it says she like, oh, the room is so nice. Oh, the, it's so nice and quiet in here. And it's like, girl, just come out and be real and just say, I don't want to talk about that. And I agree. So we go back to the other room. Well, the other ladies are, and um, they got the, that face, the same face mask with the light that Martel had on. They got it on, and I'm just like, are we gonna see this face mask light in every episode? Is somebody who's who's on? Is this Melody's business? Whose business is? Why do we keep seeing it? And <laughs> don't look relaxed. And what is it supposed to do? They got all makeup. So what is it supposed to be doing? Let me know what that what that light is supposed to be doing because I don't know what that is. <laughs> but um. Tiffany is trying to keep her check because she's just keeping the drama going. And, uh, 
in the other room, Kimmy, Tisha, and Kiki are talking about their Christmas party again, and Kiki don't want to take full accountability. She's saying he's mixing up her words. But Kimmy, like, well, everybody that was there is saying the same thing. So how's that? How so? When I say I don't care, like, I done got distracted, was looking at my phone, thinking about what I got to do tomorrow. I just, it's episode three. Because it feel like episode 457. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm back in season, what season is it? Season six. I feel like I'm still in season four. We're still talking about this thing with Kiki. Kiki got her spot on the show, but Kiki gonna have to bring in some more of a storyline. Like, is she married? Do she got a family? What else is going on? So, Tiffany and Kiki get to going back and forth. To be continued. Y'all let me know how y'all feeling about the seasons thus far. Down in the comments, be sure to like. And please don't hesitate to subscribe. Don't click off this video without subscribing now. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.